Well, we're out here again. Got myself my cigar. This time it's a Cuban Rounds. And, uh, got the grill fired up. Gonna do something a little bit different today. I've been kind of thinking about this. I'm gonna try and use my grill more like a smoker. And try and smoke a, uh, a pork roast. And see what that's like. Also, if you remember from the camping trip video, the air mattress went flat. Well, we got ourselves a kit to patch the hole. Patch kit. And I put the patch on. And we're planning on going camping in the next couple of days. So what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and blow that thing up and see if that patch holds. Also, it's been a while since we ran our generator. So I'm going to crank that up too. We'll be back. And I've got some stuff to do. I'm going to be a busy boy. See y'all in a minute. Kind of noisy now. I got my little air compressor going. You know, I got to get a home compressor. That thing works great, but sometimes you just need a compressor at home. I got the generator going. <laughs> kind of noisy. I'm going to let the generator run for a little while and uh, we'll keep running that air compressor until that air mattress fills up and we'll see if that patch holds. Let me, let me show that patch. Let's see if I can find it here. I know it's on this end. Now that's a felt. There it is. That's it right there. And uh, before we go camping again, we want to make sure that holds. Because, yeah, we have a few more recourses that we can take with it. So, it's going to be noisy out here for a little while. Charcoal blue. Charcoal's charcoal is still not quite lit yet but we'll get to work on that pork in no time at all okay we got it filled up and uh let's check out that patch well it's still there that's a good sign i don't feel any air coming out from around it sit on it see what happens well I don't hear anything leaking. Hmm. You think it maybe we actually fixed it this time, huh? Well, we'll leave it sit for a little while and see what happens. Okay, well, I got the meat on. And uh, let me show you how I got this set up here. Hey, it is my grill. Check this out. What I did is I put the roast in a pan on the whew, on the warming rack. And then I got my charcoals and my hickory down there. So we're just going to sit him up there and let him smoke for a while. Only problem I have is my thermometer won't fit in there with it. So I'm going to have to come back and, and check periodically to see how it's doing so uh we'll come back in a little bit and check periodically <laughs> you know once it starts looking like it's getting cooked then i'll stick the thermometer in and see how it's doing all right i know it's been at least an hour and a half because uh i finished my cigar and i know that cigar takes about an hour and a half actually more than that i finished that cigar about 15 minutes ago so <laughs> let's check on the meat the uh i know it's a little bit high for smoking but I don't got all day. Let's check it out. Whoa. And the temperature says. I, I can't quite make it out. Just a hair over 160. 
Now I'm going to cook it to 165 because it's pork. And uh, well, that's what I cook pork at. So I'm going to leave it cooking for just a little bit longer. And we'll see how it came out. This is the first time I've done this now. So, you know, if it comes out good, then I'm going to do it more often. Oh, boy. This is going to, I hope, I hope this is going to be yummy. It's, um, garlic peppercorn. Garlic pepper, uh, garlic peppercorn, uh, pork roast. And you just, you just buy them that way. Just bought them off the shelf. Garlic peppercorn pork roast. We've done them before. And usually you stick them in the oven. But I thought... I thought I'd go ahead and try cooking it in the grill and smoking it. Because, you know, some days it's hot. And you don't want to crank up the oven and heat up the whole house. Well, we don't have air conditioning, so the house gets right hot. We'll leave it sit for a little bit longer, and I'll bring you all back when we get to, uh, to sampling it. It's done, and it looks good from the outside. And it smells good, too. But it's kind of hard to see what that gauge is saying. <laughs> Oh, the uh, thermometer got smoked. Oh, well. We're going to try it out in just a minute here. Oh, my goodness. My wife just hacked it down the middle, and that is beautiful. Did you just eat a piece? How is it? Tastes better than a giant slug. <laughs> it does look like a giant slug. <laughs> well, cut, cut me off a hunk. I'm dying to know how that tastes. Well, not dying, but, yeah. I really want to know how that tastes. All right, here we go. Like you said. Yeah, we are doing this again. The smoking this. You're a smoker. With a, yeah. Both cigars and me, huh? With a, what you been doing all day? Anyway, this is the end of the video. I'm going to go eat. We'll see y'all next time. Probably, probably when we're camping. So keep an eyeball out for that.